you're going to make um uh cherries. So let me show you how you do it. So first what you need is a cherry stoner or a cherry pitter. Uh, you can find these at flea market. This one is about 50 years old. You need your cherries. There's a lot of cherries. So Kyler is putting the cherries in the cherry stoner. He's turned the cherry stoner. And the pitted cherries come out here. And the pits come out here at the end. And then you're left with a bunch of pitted cherries that you can can. And that's it. Have a, have a blessed day. And then we're about halfway through with the cherry pitting process. So this is basically what your cherry pit bowl will look like. Um, these are all cherry pits right here. These are all bad cherries that we found. And here we're pouring them out. So you can see this was full. Now we're down to there. So this is all the pitted cherries. So basically um, what the kid's job is, the second kid's job, this is why we have kids, is to pull out the, the pits that were left from this. And basically when we give uh, jars of cherries away, which, which is usually what we do with them, or make cherry crisp or cherry cobbler, um, and we make that for someone, then we can blame it on the kids if there's any pits left in there. So, go ahead, Kai. So again, you crank it. As you're cranking it, the cherries pop out the bottom, and the pits come out this way. And you have usually just have kind of just keep putting in cherries in the top, and they just keep coming out. Tyler keeps eating them. These are tart cherries, so they're pretty sour at this point. And then we put them in light uh, sugar and water to make them good for cooking. Right. So this is cherry pitting um, in the spring summer of uh, 2013. Thanks. Have a blessed day. This is what they look like when they do they all done. So this is the cherries. We got six jars here. And what you do is you put them in the jars. You make some syrup out of uh, water and sugar. You put them in a water bath can. 20 minutes. You take them out, but this guy, do you listen, you let it cool, listen for the pop, basically that's the depression on top on this metal piece, it will go down, and it seals it in, then you're good, so that's what it looks like, thanks, have a blessed day.